Hi, my name is Chris Cook. I'm the Hawkware Product Manager for Hawkridge Systems. In this brief video, I'll demonstrate how our Hawkware ADN, or Auto Document Number, can be used for generating unique IDs for files related to shipbuilding in your Enterprise PDM vault. Let's start with user actions. If I select one of these new files in my vault and look at the data card, I can see a button used to assign a new number. This is linked to our ADN add-in and will populate all four fields and rename the file. The ADN interface shows the resulting string in the upper right. Sequential numbering is based on each unique prefix. These are our three properties that drive our unique number string. Hitting Generate creates the next counter for the selected values. I'll select the Swibus category, then select the appropriate Swibus number, keeping the default configuration. This is the second part with this prefix. If I hit OK, we can watch ADN check in the new file, update the file name, and the card properties. If the file is already checked in, the ADN will simply update the card properties and rename the file. The version free variables in Enterprise PDM allow this without requiring a checkout. We can now see that ADN has renamed the file, checked it in, and updated the appropriate properties on the data card. Now let's take a look under the hood and see what it takes to set this up. We'll begin with SQL Server Management Studio. ADN uses a database of its own so it can be tailored to your exact needs. This is also done to provide a way to track each combination of prefixes to independently increment each counter. In our example, we have three tables. Swibus class for the Swibus categories, Swibus for the specific Swibus values, and config for our one and only default start value. Notice how the Swibus table has a column for class ID. This allows us to associate each Swibus value with a category. Now let's turn our attention to the ADN settings in Enterprise PDM Administration. After creating our SQL tables and entering their values, we must establish our connection. In this dialog, we provide the SQL account credentials, SQL instance name, and our ADN database name, then hit connect. Four tabs will appear at the top of the interface for defining how ADN behaves. The Instructions tab is where we build the user interface. We can define up to four input categories with appropriate user instructions. In our example, only the first three categories will be utilized. The Categories tab is where we build the intelligence into the lists in our user interface. Here we configure where each category gets its data using SQL queries, the final format for our ID string, the numeric counter format, and whether or not our number should trigger a file rename. If we need to use a proxy user account for the rename action, the Rename Permission tab is used. The final Variable Mappings tab allows us to determine which data card properties, if any, should be updated with ADN categories or the final number string. We are updating four of our card variables with each of our three categories, along with the final unique ID. Finally, we can't forget to configure our data cards. In this example, we set our number, Swibus, counter, and config variables to version free. This allows the ADN to write to them even when the file is checked in. For those situations where ADN should be the only means of input, we also set number, swibus, and counter to read only. This prevents any direct user input. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please check out our other great applications at hawkwareapps.com.